Hello, welcome to this new segment in your e-course. And in today's mini video guitar lesson, we're going to move away from the subject of chords slightly. Because up until this point, we've been doing fairly basic stuff. You know, I've taught you how to tune the guitar, I've taught you how to read tab, and we've also learned some chords and some strumming patterns. But today, we're really going to step it up a gear. And especially if you're an electric guitarist and you want to be a lead guitarist, you know, if you're into rock or blues or if you admire, you know, guitarists like Eric Clapton, B.B. King, Santana, Mark Knopfler, or really any of the modern rock groups, then I think this is going to be particularly relevant to you. I think you're really going to enjoy this lesson. But don't get me wrong, it's, it's perfectly valid on acoustic guitar as well. So, you know, everybody must join in with this. So today I'm going to show you what's called the blues scale. And a scale, all that means is it's a group of notes and you play them one at a time. Um, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so that's the blues scale. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, what's the big deal? It's just a bunch of notes. It doesn't really sound that cool. But I can absolutely promise you that it's vital that you learn these notes. And it's vital that you program your fingers with this pattern of notes because it will be the basis and the foundation on which you learn to improvise and solo and play all the wicked guitar stuff that you want to play. You know, if, if you want to be able to do stuff like this... and cool stuff like that, then you absolutely need to learn this scale, okay? Are you sold? Good. Right, so let's begin. I want you to start by putting your first finger on the sixth string at fret five and give that a pluck. And then move up to the little finger on the sixth string at fret eight. Now, I will ask you to use the exact fingers that I ask you to use because, you know, it'll be more efficient in the long run. So once you've done fret five and then fret eight, go to the fifth string at fret five and then go to the fifth string at fret seven and notice that I'm using my third finger on fret seven so if we play that from the start it'll look like this good now go to the fourth string at fret five and then fret seven and then the third string is the same it's fret five then fret seven and now when you get to the second string, I want you to play fret 5 and then fret 8 with the little finger. And then the first string, fret 5 and then fret 8 also with the little finger. OK, so you've got the tab at the bottom of the screen, so you should be able to read that for yourself. So I'll demonstrate it again now. Sixth string, 5 then 8. Fifth string, 5 then 7. Fourth string, 5 then 7. Third string five and seven. Second string five and eight. And then the first string five and then eight. Good, excellent. So I'll just play that at full speed. Good, excellent. Now, once you've done that and memorized it, what I want you to do is to play it backwards. So, what I mean is to start on the first string at fret eight and then step off to fret five on the first string. So we're going to descend all the way back down. So the second string now at fret 8. Off to the second string at 5. Third string at 7. Third string at 5. Fourth string at 7. Fourth string at 5. Fifth string at 7. And then 5. Sixth string at 8. And then 5. Excellent. So you should be able to go all the way through the blues scale and all the way back again. Now, I've said this to you before, I'll say it again, it's not a race, you know, don't worry about playing this really fast straight away. It's perfectly normal for you to stop the video, you know, practice it for 10 minutes, and if you need to watch the video over and over again, then it's perfectly fine to do that as well. So, um, at this stage, I'll, I'll assume you've memorised this now, because really it's quite straightforward, I think you'll agree. Now, the next technique, this is the, the next part of the equation, I'm going to teach you to hammer and pull off, and this is the key to being able to play fast. 
past. If you like that little lick I did just now when I was kind of showing off, um, I can promise you that the secret to that not only is understanding and remembering the scale, but being able to hammer and pull off. So let me, let me explain what this is. When you hammer, you hold down one note, you pluck it, and then you whack the other finger down onto the next note but you're not you're not plucking the second time you're only plucking once with the plectrum and it's purely the force of that finger hitting the fi the fret that creates that second note so effectively you're getting two notes for one pluck <laughs> Like that and it does take a bit of practice to get used to whacking that finger down onto the fretboard like that you know it needs to be quite quick and quite forceful so again you know be patient with yourself don't worry if it takes a bit of practice that's perfectly normal and I'm gonna ask you to hammer all the way through uh, the blue scale on each string so now you're gonna do the fifth string five hammer to seven and then the fourth string five hammer to seven third string five to seven second string five to eight first string five to eight okay there you go so let me just play that at, you know a slightly faster pace good so that's the sort of speed that I want you to work towards so it's nice and fluid great now here's the, here's the next stage the opposite to a hammer is a pull-off and what that is is when you hold both notes down at once um, so they're both holding down on the fret and you're gonna pluck and you're gonna pull that finger away and again the same thing applies you're gonna pluck once but it's the force of that finger pulling away on the string that actually plucks the string and creates the next note so like this Good. And now onto the second string, eight, pull off to five, and all the way back through the scale. Okay, now again, it's easier said than done. You know, a lot of my students will take a good few weeks really to, to practice that and get it sounding nice and smooth. So I want you to be able to hammer all the way through the scale and pull off all the way back. and you can build the speed okay I'm gonna leave that up to you that's your responsibility now to go and get on with it and go and build your speed and build the flexibility of your fingers and you know really get them used to playing and I can promise you it's all gonna be worth it in the long run because if you're a rock guitarist and you want to play you know <laughs> I don't know, the Darkness, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Green Day, Blink-182, Santana, Eric Clapton, Dire Straits, anything like that, you know, you need to get on with it and get practice in this stuff. So go and enjoy it, go and get on with it. I look forward to seeing you in a few days um, for the next segment of this lesson. And if between now and then you get really good at this, then, you know, by all means, go and look at the website and look at the archive because there's loads of songs and solos and full length video guitar lessons, you know, what, whatever song you want to learn it all should be on there so go and see if there's anything that takes your fancy um, in the meantime good luck practicing enjoy yourself I'll see you in a few days for the next segment of this e-course okay bye bye